There are plenty of old pieces of technology that we can wax nostalgic about, but perhaps none used to be more common in our homes than the good old CRT television. You know, those heavy, boxy consoles that made interesting noises when you flipped them on or off. And it wasn't just TVs. CRT computer monitors were also ubiquitous for a long time. But then, starting in the early to mid-2000s, they began to disappear and then seemed to be gone in the blink of an eye just a few short years later. So why did they vanish from our lives? And how did it happen so fast? Well, to understand this, it first helps to understand how a CRT works. At the back of a CRT display is an electron gun that fires electrons at the front of the set, the inside of which is coated in phosphors that glow different colors when they're hit. CRTs also have steering coils at the back, which aim the electrons to different parts of the screen by adjusting their own voltages. The technology itself is fairly simple, but the issue is that this entire apparatus needs to be contained in some pretty heavy duty glass in order to work properly. So both the tube itself, as well as the front phosphor coated glass that makes up the screen. This glass adds considerable weight and bulk to any CRT display. And because the tube needed to be a certain length in order to fire and aim the electrons properly, it also limited the size of the screen as a super deep tube would have been required to go any bigger. So for a long time, all this bulk was the scourge of moving days around the world until the flat panel display came along. Now, although flat panels were very expensive, and with inferior image quality when they first started hitting the market, manufacturers quickly got better at churning them out efficiently. One big reason for this is improvements in the way that LCD displays have their circuits printed onto them. Although these printers used to have very limited capacities, today they're quite massive, making it much easier for manufacturers to ship out huge numbers of flat panel displays quickly. This and other improvements in technology quickly made LCD displays competitive in price and even display quality with CRTs, so no one really saw a reason to keep buying bulky, heavy, power-hungry units instead of lighter, more power-efficient ones. Plus, there was the fact that LCD screens could eventually be made much larger than CRTs since they didn't need quite so much junk in the trunk. So while demand for flat screens spiked, the market share of CRTs plummeted. In fact, one UK retailer reported that back in 2004, over 80% of the TVs they sold were CRTs, but then that in 2006, that number had dropped to less than 5%. Today, there aren't even any companies remaining that actively manufacture CRT displays, but while the technology is largely obsolete, that doesn't mean that it's useless. For example, have you ever tried to hook an older game console, like your Nintendo 64, up to a modern flat panel display? Well, despite the fact that LCD and OLED TVs are superior in many ways, you might have noticed that your classic games don't look nearly the way that you remember them looking on your old CRT. This is due to a couple of technical reasons. Old school consoles were actually designed to work with TVs that could better handle interlaced video signals. That is, TVs that would only draw every other line of an image on each pass. And that was, of course, common in CRTs. Modern flat panels instead draw the entire image at once. So that, combined with the fact that old CRTs could change resolutions without sacrificing image clarity the way that LCDs do, meant that they could much better accommodate the lower and sometimes oddball resolutions of old consoles. Even the fanciest of new flat panel displays often produce funky looking artifacts if you try to play retro games on them without investing in an expensive outboard scaler. So as it turns out then, there's still quite a secondhand trade in CRTs among classic game aficionados, as well as AV junkies who appreciate the deep blacks, negligible input lag, and the smooth motion that CRTs provide. But if you want one, I just Hope that you've left enough room in your budget to cover beer for the gang of friends that you'll need to move it. Speaking of gangs of friends, check out Brilliant, the website that helps you sharpen your skills in math and science with fun daily challenges and participate in the giant community while you do it.
Whether you're interested in computer science, statistics, meteorology, or some other field, Brilliant's daily challenges help you master concepts by giving you the tools that you need to solve the problems yourself. And Brilliant also offers full courses to help you explore your passions in greater depth. Recently, their users have done everything from using computer science to cook more easily to figuring out the area of complex objects like snowflakes. So if you want to actively learn fascinating concepts every day and make yourself just a little bit smarter, head to brilliant.org slash techwiki. The first 200 of you to take advantage of this offer will get 20% off their annual premium subscription. So go check it out now. So thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out other videos, and leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future fast as possible.